a mood. So I'm driving down Oregon Highway 101, hugging the coast. I just bought these stickers. Exactly what I was looking for. Uh, and I just had to, this has been on my list of places to visit. I just had to come to Novelli's to get their clam chowder. I uh, watch and follow Nikki Delventhal's videos. If you like travel videos, you probably know who she is. She's a very popular travel vlogger. And she waxes poetic about this chowder. Uh, so it was on my way anyway. Well, kind of. <laughs> I kind of went down this way instead of taking a more... Uh, inland highway to hit this but also I wanted the coastal drive and it's been lovely very rainy but moody and beautiful anyway it's right like on a like a it's in a boat slip like the actual spot it's just kind of fun to visit and oh it looks really good I'm not sure you can see it hmm but I want to do a live taste test this is their uh, crab chowder Mm. Oh, wow. It's really good. Mm. Okay, it's really, really, really good. Highly recommend. Mm. Looks just like chowder, right? They've got the live crabs, like, right in a tank in there, which is so cool. Lots of nice, finely diced potatoes. There's the crab. You can see it. It's just got such good flavor. It's not too thick either. Sometimes chowder can be too thick. Delightful. 10 out of 10 recommend. Welcoming committee is here. Hello. Hi. Hey, sweet pea. Hello. I don't know how to pet a cat. <laughs> After so many years of just having a dog. I'm not sure what we do. But they're very friendly. Yes, they are. I'll give you a nice tour tomorrow. But wow. Look at that view right, right out the front. Pretty sweet. What do you think? Is it a nice view? You look at it all the time, don't you? You can't go in there, I'm not allowed, I don't think. <laughs> they really want to go in there. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. They can't let you in the house. You're not a house kitty. Well, not this house. I know, I know. <laughs> what a sweetie. The next morning. We found some elk. Oh my goodness, you are beautiful. Hey, elk. Gonna hurt you. I'm just taking your picture. Hi, beautiful. He's like, all right, fine. I'll go back to eating my grass. But I don't like you. <laughs> There's a whole bunch right here. This is like an elk viewing field. Fun. And then, just up the road, there's these little guys just in the middle of the road. Come on, guys, let's pick a direction. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, you can't see them. There they go. Hi. Oh, wait, gotta wait for this one. Elk crossing. It's very important. We got little little antlers. Okay, I'm gonna don't cross the road. Stay right there. Okay. Oh, oh, Annie's scared. Okay. Everybody's fine. Everybody, everybody's fine. We're back in the car. <laughs> Greetings, my friends, and welcome to extremely rainy Northern California. I am in Redwoods. I'm actually technically not in Redwood National Park. I think right now I'm in a state park. Prairie something? I'll write it in here somewhere. Um, I got in last night. Beautiful drive from um, Portland down 101 on the Oregon coast. It's, it's definitely like the scenic route. You could go a more direct way, but I wanted the scenic route and it was just beautiful. It was very in and out of rainy, kind of sunny, rainy. 
and just gorgeous, gorgeous views. I took some clips. It's hard to drive and film at the same time. I do not recommend doing a lot of that. So I just took a handful of very, very short clips to give you just like a little sense of what that was like because it was fantastic. And me driving through when I entered the Redwoods, I was like, the whole way. It was so beautiful. And now today, I have two full days here, which I'm really excited about, but it's going to be like practically driving rain the whole time. And I'm just like, you know what? Oh, well, we're going to do the things anyway. I'm going to hike or try to hike. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put all my rain gear on and see about that. I have earmarked a 12 mile trail today, which seems a little bit bananas for this weather. So we'll see. I am going to go on it and then we'll see if I turn around and come back if it's really miserable. But I just, you know, you got to come when you come. I'm here. It's December now, just. And this is the rainiest time of year This in this part of the country. So I knew that coming in. I still wanted to do it. I still wanted to stay and see it. So um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I am staying in a very sweet little Airbnb in Trinidad, which is just about 30 minutes south from here, that I will show you at some point in this video. Um, but I got in at night and it was too dark to film a tour. Uh, so we'll show you that later. Let's try to go on this hike first. It's like the Miner's Creek Fern something or other hike. I have no idea. We're going to bring extra socks. I'm going to bring my whole rain kit and we're going to try to make the most of it. Also, Fun fact, I not only have a brand new camera I'm so excited about, but completely forgot to pack the memory card for it, so it's completely useless. Awesome. Um, I left the microphone for my phone at the Airbnb 30 minutes away. So I apologize for all of that. We're going to have one more trip video with just the phone. I'm so sorry, but hopefully things will improve. Uh, with the next video um, when I actually remember the memory card and the microphone and all those things. All right, well, here we go. Look at the cute park office visitor center. I don't know if anybody's in there. There's a car. Uh, trail leaves from here. I'm gonna do the Cathedral Trees Trail a different day, I think. We're gonna go over this way. Here it is, Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. It's on the land of the, Oh. I don't know how to pronounce that. But there, there you go. They're closed. I wonder if they open at all. But it looks like before I go anywhere, I have to move my car. So I'm glad I looked at that. I hope they do have maps, which I will take one of. Open. So they're not open today. Thursday. No, they are. Not till 10. Okay. They'll be open when I come back. I like this. We are going on this trail. Down is optional, up is mandatory. Yes, I know it is strenuous. Awesome, look at all this information. Really cool, I'm gonna read this real fast before I go, but oh my gosh, can you already see? You guys have no clue how huge those trees are. Holy smokes, I'm excited. This is what we saw from the car, the um, Roosevelt Elk. 1,200 pounds. Yeah, don't go up to the animals, guys. Just like, just don't do that. Alrighty, well, here we go. What could go wrong? Oh, who is Carl Knapp? He serves the state parks for more than 45 years. Amazing. This is a small tree. It's just a tiny, tiny little tree. <laughs> Y'all, it is, I'm like three steps in and it's already so beautiful. My hope is, it is very rainy, but because it's a very dense forest, um, I won't get that wet. I do have my rain pants if I feel like putting them on. Uh, so far, no. Oh my gosh. Look how cool this is. What? I wish I had a tripod, because this is not going to, the scale is going to be off. Hold on, what if I, it seems a little risky, gem for scale. Uh, I can't get a really good scale picture, but wow, they're really big. Sorry, I don't have proper equipment as per usual. Holy smokes. 
there. Then you can get a little bit. I mean, the scale's still a little off just because of the angle of the camera, but it's a big tree. It's a big tree. Well, this is going to be a very slow hike if I take this kind of footage the whole way. These guys are so big and beautiful. Oh, I, just, oh, I love it. Yo, this is incredible. I, I'm already blown away. I'm five minutes in. I am like, oh, the video. I wish I had my better camera. Look. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, my God. Yo. What? Oh, my gosh. It's like. I don't even know how to even show you the scale of this stuff. This stuff, these trees. They're just incredible. Guys, I'm, I'm walking among giants. Giants. Wow. I'm blown away. Hmm. What is this sign? Let's go see. Oh, it's the same sign they had out front. They just want to... You'd be really sure you know what you're getting into. Well, <laughs> yes. Man, though, it's like a magical thing. I don't think I'm going to see any other people today, though. Okay, well, oh well. All right, I promise I won't take a video of every tree, but see those little trees next to it? Those are kind of like normal-sized pine trees. What? <laughs> All right. This is just to show you the scale. I just took a picture. I was like, I should take a video. It's a big tree. Hopefully I was in that. Do you see what I mean? Big. It doesn't look big in right there. Until you're next to it and you're like, wow, that's a big tree. Oh, we love a good trail bridge moment. We love. Wow. Tell me this doesn't seem like the most mystical place you've ever been. Don't mind my huffing and puffing. We just went uphill a bunch, but look at this. Whoa. It's like a tree wreck. Oh my gosh. These things are so big. I wonder what happened. Did it just die or was it hit by lightning or something? Whoa. Glad I wasn't here when that happened. Holy smokes. Oh, here you can kind of see the... Whoa. Can I say whoa a few more times? And here's why they're called redwood. Because the inside is red. Whoa. Right, so this is where the loop starts. We're about a mile in. And anybody who commented on it in the reviews said to go counterclockwise. So we're gonna do that. And I'll let you know how it pans out. <laughs> but man, that is beautiful. Just like, so stinking amazing. Yo, look at all the knots on that one. How cool. I wonder if there was a fire here at some point, or maybe just like some of the trees were hit by lightning. Cause some of them have like, from a long time ago, it looks like, like black marks like that one up there. It's, it's just a little tree. Whoa. Whoa! I love how the like ferns grow right on it. I think that's so cool, and other plants too. Super neat, so there's quite a bit of uphill. I, can't, I feel like, it's like over a thousand feet, so I think I've gone about 600 so far, so. Um, but it's a really nice trail because the ground is firm but damp, so it's not like hard. And there's all these pine needles on the ground, and so it kind of softens. Easy on the joints, I would say, so far at least. And just so magical, magical? <laughs> it's moody and magical put together. Magical, <laughs> that's my new word. This is magical. This is what happens when you're on a trail by yourself in the middle of a magical, a magical forest. You start coming up with amazing new words. Ting. Literally just rounded the corner from where I was last talking to you. Now, if this isn't magical, I don't know what is. Look at that fog. We're getting closer to the coast. Ooh, it's a magical. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Look at those mushrooms. Wow. Fantastic. Just at the front of this massive tree. Jeez. Look at this one. So do you think that's the, that must be lightning, right? The lightning comes through down to the top of the tree and splits it at the bottom. That's so cool looking. I mean, whoa. So the forest situation has changed a bit. It's a lot more open, a lot less redwoody. A lot of this like very close, this isn't even as close as it's been. It's like brush that kind of comes over the trail. And it's a lot more open, so it's a lot more wet. <laughs> it's still a lot more. I think we're getting close to the coast. I haven't looked at the map in a while. But yeah, do you see what I mean? Like, really, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, but really close. Oh, is it a trail sign? Let's see what that is. No, it's a bridge. There's been a lot of little bridges too. This is the first one I've seen with a frame like this. Interesting. It's a fun one. Cool. It's all these little like gulches with little creeks. Look, I wonder if these are rainwater collectors? Why do they have solar panels on them? I don't know. I feel like we're real close to the coast. There's apparently a camp right there. I smell a fire. I wonder if somebody's got a fire going. I can't see it yet, but you can hear it. It's definitely a campground. Not sure it's open, to be honest, but I do smell like, like a campfire. I did see one car go by. You can drive down here, too. Uh, just to know, also, there's no service here whatsoever. Oh, uh, yeah. You can uh, camp here. I'm sorry about the wind. i doing my best to shield you from it. Look at that really old pay box. <laughs> it's like cemented into the stone. There's a restaurant. I doubt it's open. No, it's super close. It's fine because there's absolutely nobody on the trail and there is a camper. I see a camper. Anyway, we get to walk on the beach now. And if it's real windy, I might just lay some music over it and do voice over. Oh no, it's not close. It says please. There's a shower. Oh, restroom is open. That's pretty nice. And there's a restroom on the trail. Yeah, absolutely use it. All of hiking. From Redwood Groves to Beach. Try not to give you a whiplash. How cool is this? A little bit of everything on this hike. The ocean's looking very dramatic. And look, people! It's the first people I've seen in hours. <laughs> So pretty. Wow, it's not too much. It's nice. Such a mood. Do you not recommend swimming right now? Holy smokes. Look at that. Wow. It's really pretty. Wow. Okay, I'm like, it's starting to freeze. It's definitely colder out of the trees. There's some people again. We won't film them too much. Ooh, it's such a mood. That's a really big muscle. <laughs> Look at my foot for scale. Wow. Oh. oh, and another part of a crab up there. I decided to pause. I found a piece of driftwood. I'm sitting on it. I have a little snack. I actually brought my tea with me. And I've got this cone that I bought in Portland yesterday. And it stopped me for just a second. So I'm going to have a quick little snack here. So this must be the part where people are like, have waterproof shoes. I do, but I think I can find a crossing. Um, I'm gonna go look at that rock situation and see. It's actually a tree. I think this should be fine. What could go wrong? <laughs> okay, well my foot went in. 
expand that a little bit. It's not terrible. I do have extra socks. I wonder if that's it. I guess we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> this foot got dunked a little bit, but it's not terrible. It's only partly wet. <laughs> that was fun. That's a fun looking sign, isn't it? My goodness. All right, we're entering the Fern Canyon area. Ooh. A retreating sea left these coastal bluffs behind. Some of the exquisite ferns now are ancient species whose ancestry can be traced back 325 million years. What? Okay, well, let's go see some really old ferns. I think I made it ran to those people again. Notice they moved their car. There it is. It's so cool. Whoa. It's like the wall of ferns, I guess. And this is where you need the waterproof shoes again. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. This is seriously cool. Um, I can't film while I'm like navigating it, but it's <laughs> seriously fun to like walk over all things and try to balance and stuff too. You know, little things. Look at this. It's literally a wall of ferns. And this cool, like, canyon. That's why it's called Fern Canyon. Okay, that tracks. You know, she gets there eventually. Sometimes. So neat. Look at all the fungi growing on this. That's a fun guy. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. It's like being on an obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I can go on the side. Okay, so now we're, like, up close and personal to the ferns. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, this is definitely one of the neatest hikes I've ever done, just in terms of variety of landscape and, I don't know, it's been fun. All right, we made it out of the canyon, oops, sorry for the finger, and we're back in the James Irvine and we're going four miles to park and quarters. Whew. And we're back in the forest. One thing I've noticed along the way is um, there's these different signs of naming different groves. And I wonder if those are people who like donated for conservation and stuff. That's my best guess. Anyway, it's more of this. We're going to get up a bit higher and back to where the bigger redwoods are. At least we'll be around. I'm going to kind of stop filming now though because uh, my battery is going on my phone. And another thing I forgot was my backup phone battery, which I don't like to hike without. And another thing I don't have is my GPS guy, which I left all the way in Illinois. I bought it home because it hasn't been tracking correctly and I thought I need to like do something with it. I don't know why I needed to do it at home. What was that? Don't know. Um, anyway, so I need to conserve this battery. I'm going to stop filming, but anything super different happens, I will show you. Otherwise, I'm gonna try not to step in this big mud pit and I'll see you on the other side. I think we have about a couple more miles to go, but this is the most impressive like base I've seen yet. I'm sorry, I think my lens has stuff on it. Um, I've been wondering like, when it's a tree like this, is that one tree or like two trees? That's not a good example, but this is obviously like eight trees, right? But they all share kind of this base. Whoa, they go way up there. More fun guy. And we're back. It's like 10 to two. It, uh, I, I moved at like five moving hours and I took a little break, right, to eat, but it's a good one. I really enjoy it. It's beautiful. And it's rainy, but it's like also the sun's coming out. So we'll take it. I'm gonna pop into the shop if they're open and see if he didn't get his sticker. Sign of a pretty epic hike. It's pretty gnarly looking hiking shoes. You guys, I've been wearing these all season. I've worn them for $29.29 as well. And they've just rocked. They don't look great right now because they're covered in mud, but they are really great, supportive, not too heavy. And they're water resistant. I went through all that water stuff. My feet stayed, well, they're pretty dry. 
but I'm gonna change out of them because they are gross. Also, I think this is really cute, the elk. They're just hanging out in the middle of this field. They're just midday hangout. Just, just ch chilling. Okay, got the wet raincoat off. Kept me very dry that whole time. And I got my nice coat back on. I think I'm gonna have a little snack. Drive back. Do you wonder, I wonder if my tea is still warm. What time is it? It's like 2.10 now. I brewed this at 7.15. So it was at five, six, seven hours ago? Yeah, it's still warm. It's still warm and I'm so grateful. Oh, it's so yummy. Mm. Wait, um, really good hike, really liked it. It was uh, 12 miles. Oh, I'm filming on my phone so I can't tell you. It was 12 miles, I did, I did look. Round trip by my clock, both my watch and my all trails app says that. And uh, 1,400 foot elevation gain, slightly more than 1,400 feet altogether. But it was undulating over 12 miles. It's not that big of a deal, but um, it was fun. I liked all the different parts of it. I liked how it, it was like thick redwood forest and then different kind of forest and then coast and then beach and then that fern canyon thing and then back into the, yeah, it was cool. So obviously I have a favorite design of the stickers because I bought it in like four iterations of things. I got this teensy tiny one. It's actually just this little sticker to put on my water bottle. So that's exciting. I might do that right now. And then I really, obviously really like this design. I got two postcards for memory keeping purposes. And I also got this sticker. This sticker I think will be for my car. Um, and then I also bought this sticker because this is where I technically hiked here in the Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. So I might use that for my journal. And they had the, may the forest be with you. <laughs> that was so funny. That is definitely going on my journal. Um, fun stuff. I love a good sticker. I think I'm going to eat this little apple here and head out. I need a, like a meal, like a warm meal in my belly. There is a restaurant very close to the, oh, there's somebody sleeping in that car. I did. I just noticed that. Um, there is a restaurant very close, like just a few minutes walk from um, my Airbnb. Oh, I'll give you a tour when we get back too. So I'm going to see if they're still open or open at all and maybe get a, something warm to eat there. And I'll give you a tour of the Airbnb and then I'm just going to like chill. That was a, that was a lot of hiking for me. That was a really good solid hike. That's the longest hike I've done since 29 or 29 and my hip injury, which is much, much better, but still existing. I can still feel it. But yeah, pretty good. If you're wondering how much 15 and a half gallons gas costs in California right now, 84 bucks. Okay. You come in on the side of the house here and they have this nice fenced in yarn. And I think it is pet friendly. So you come in through the side door mostly. Um, but we'll look at the front to see its cuteness. And I think that's a little church across the street. I'm hoping tomorrow to explore the town a little bit more and walk towards the water and do this hike around the, uh, what's it called? Lighthouse and stuff. We'll talk about that tomorrow though. Here's the house from the front. It is so sweet. Ooh, look at those hydrangeas. Um, yeah, the main door's on the side, like I just showed you, but really nice. Let's take a peek inside. All right, here's the inside. I'm gonna give you a quick little look. Keep in mind, it's uh, got all my stuff. It's just everywhere. So it's not a pristine tour, but this is a very sweet spot. It's the perfect location for me for this trip. And it's just got really everything I need and more, really. So it does have a washer dryer, which I will be putting to good use tomorrow. Uh, Full size fridge, freezer, full, full kitchen, and fully stocked with spices and everything, even. So that's really nice. There's a whole bunch of my stuff on the counter, so ignore all that. It's a really interesting little house, too, because I love how it's just, I feel like it's just completely designed to take advantage of one thing, and that is the fact that you can see the ocean. Oh, there's a big glare in my lens. Hold on. You can see the ocean. There it is. On the front so there's all these windows and doors and things and everything's just kind of oriented that way 
you can see a little bit of the yard from this vantage point here. But yeah, so you've got like one big living space here. You got the, you know, kitchen and eating area and then your living room area over here. I've already made very good use of that stove. It's the main heating force of the house. There isn't really a lot of heat else, elsewise. So it is a little bit chilly, but once you get the fire going, it's very cozy. And you've got your seating and all of that. I will say it also does not have internet. That's not super important to me because I knew that going in, so I got my work done beforehand. And even with just one bar of 5G, I can still get online on my phone if necessary. It's got this little sitting room over here with a futon, so it can also be like another bedroom. Uh, but lots of space in here, books and things, a TV, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, really nice, just cozy. Honestly, haven't used that space, probably won't use it. The bathroom, again, apologize, all my stuff's out in it, but took well good advantage of that tub last night, and I'm totally gonna get it in it after I have my supper tonight. And then the bedroom. Um, I did take a little video clip when I came in last night of the bed looking nice because I don't know, I just always feel so guilty when I've slept in the bed and then I try to show it to you. So I'll lay that in here. Okay, obviously proper tour will be tomorrow, but I just want to show the bed in its pristine condition. I always feel so bad when I do the tour after I've slept in the bed. And they love chocolate. How nice is that? Local. Look. Oh, look, it says it's even the cottage's name. Oh, I love that. Personal touch. Gotta love it. But yeah, it has a little uh, space heater, which I'm just put on now that I'm back. And I'm going to let it warm up the space a bit. Um, the fire is great, but it doesn't really add any heat to the back of the house. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a lovely space. And the price was definitely right. I looked at lots of spots in this coastal area, like up and down the coast a little bit around here. And there was lots of spots, like right on the water, four times as expensive. And I was like, you know what, I, this, this is good. I can, I can handle this view. I can handle this view. All right, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna go to eat. I'm just gonna walk to where it is. And uh, we'll go from there. Just to show you the proximity, there's the house. That's the restaurant. Close. Also a pretty cool menu. They have a lot of fun things. The fish and chips came recommended. I'm trying not to film anybody, but it's a really cute little restaurant too. Very nice. This is locally made. It's delightful. I got some crab and fry dish that sounded so good. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. That was yummy. A little unexpected. My mother always taught me never to eat seafood that has cheese on it, but I don't know. It was like a crab poutine almost it was good and um, this is like a little catholic uh, chapel but they're only oh is that a dog staring at me <laughs> yes it is <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> i thought i'd walk down the street towards the water and the airbnb's right there but uh just to see it while it's not raining for a second there's this little dog i'm gonna show you let me see that little guy oh he's not looking at me anymore he's going up the street Anyway, it's really, really sweet. And the ocean's right there. So, I think it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, too. So, I might as well look at it now. Wow, well, I can. But also, how sweet are these little houses? I just love, 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 love the yellow door for sure. If I'm not mistaken, that bit of land right there. I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's called something. It's actually, I've got a little trail earmarked for that tomorrow, and that's where the lighthouse is. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow, but oh my gosh. Oh, it's windy. I hope you can hear me, but if you can, I'm sorry. It's just so pretty. Oh, look, now you can see the whole house on the outside. So sweet. I have taken a bath. Fire's going. It's real cozy. I'm just sitting here thinking, wow, it's so dark out. You see? Oh, terrible quality. I'm so sorry. Anyway, feels really late. Like, I'm really wiped. It must be at least 9. It's 6.30. <laughs> Can I go to bed? It's 6.30. I think what I'm going to do now, because uh, I'm feeling very cozy, is maybe find a nice stretchy 
yoga to do or just like a really nice evening stretch on the Peloton app. And then I might eat some chocolate and watch some YouTube and go to bed. This, I'm in heaven. That was a big undertaking for me today that I, like pre-July, that would have been like a good hike, but not, it wasn't that um, strenuous in terms of it wasn't that technical. And the elevation gain was for a 12 mile hike to go 1400 to uh, gain, have a 1400 foot elevation gain. It's not, that's not a lot. I mean, it's like, it's got some, but it's not the ton, right? Kicked my booty. I feel good. I feel strong, but it's just, you know, getting back, getting back to it. All right. Can I get a nice stretch? I like took a full bath already. guys. <laughs> like I'm not even, <laughs> yes, I probably should wash my hair tomorrow. My hair's, <sighs> yeah. Okay. Stretch, chocolate, YouTube, sleepy time. That sounds like a plan. I think I mentioned there is this one little heater in here. It really only heats this corner of the house, but it's actually working out really well. So my phone is plugged in to totally dry out my hiking shoes, which needed it. So it's uh, doing good work. Wow, they look rough, but they're nice and warm and uh, they'll be ready for Ready for tomorrow. I'm not planning a strenuous hike tomorrow, but it's supposed to be pretty rainy. These are water resistant, like I said, so. They still get damp, but my feet stay mostly dry. The next morning. I love looking out at the sea every morning. It's hard to see on the screen because of the smudginess of the window, but in person I can see it perfectly. It's beautiful. Good morning from my uh, yoga mat, my froggy voice. I woke up like with no voice again. Oh, traveling is hard, man. <laughs> it's hard on the immune system. I've been fine since my last trip, but oh well. I also spent the whole day in a damp forest yesterday, so that might have something to do with it. Anyway, there's so much to do. Here, there's so many wonderful hikes and other sights to see but honestly I think I might just what I need today is to just like take it down a notch so um I'm gonna do my yoga I'm sat right here on the floor um yesterday when I did my yoga in the same place I put the fire on in the morning but I had a little bit more time and I don't want to leave the house with the fire still on so I'm just gonna save my fire <laughs> building till later but I did put the little heater on over there so it should warm up a little um I'm gonna do my yoga, and then I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna go for this little, it's, I'm gonna do a little hike today, just the one locally here out to the Trinidad Head, it's called. But it's very short, it's only a few miles, uh, but it's like the local spot to go see. It's really not nice weather too, it's supposed to rain all day, so uh, I wanna be mindful of that as well with, you know, my constitution <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, we'll see what we get up to. I'll take you with me. I'm gonna do some yoga now and gonna ease myself into the day. Can you hear that? It's raining pretty hard. Eh, medium hard. But I'm sitting here and I just like can't decide what to do with myself and I think I'm just gonna, oh my God, it's really raining. I don't know if the, the camera's picking that up. Oh my God, it's like pouring. Shoot. Oh my God, I got all suited up to go out and then I was like, I'm gonna do it and now like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Look at it. I don't know if I'm making it to the lighthouse. I was so excited because I found out it's only open the first, I found out like yesterday, it's only open the first Saturday of each month and it's the first Saturday of December. And this is like my chance to go see it. Maybe I'll just take a step outside and then decide what I'm doing. It's really raining hard. <laughs> Crumb. <laughs> Maybe I'll go get some breakfast and then, and then decide. I could just walk over to the breakfast place. I might do that. Okay, I walked over to the breakfast place. My book in my, <laughs> I couldn't my, um, jacket. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Looks good though. Look at this. Yum. Well, Lorena slowed just a little bit, so I came. It's like a two-minute walk. 
to that place. I didn't film in there because it's kind of like a cozy, intimate space and I didn't want to like disturb anybody, but it was really sweet. And I brought my book and I enjoyed it. The thing I had was this um, brioche egg bun and it was basically like a egg sandwich, but the egg was like quiche. I've never had quiche on a bun before. It was delightful. Um, and I had a peppermint mocha, which I still had some of, but you know, it's just going to rain. I'm going to walk over to the lighthouse. It's really not that far and see if they're even open. I don't know if they're open with the weather like this, but I got all my rain gear on. <laughs> like, why not? So I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull my, if it's raining really hard, I won't pull my phone out too much, but I figured I might as well go over there. Ooh, the moodiness of the coast right now. All right, so that big mound is Trinidad Head. That's where we're heading. Oh, look, I'm not the only idiot <laughs> going on this walk. Okay, I'm making me feel better. This is, I'm not trying not to call those people idiots. I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Anyway, I was really referring to myself as an idiot. This is it. Uh, you can park here, and I'm pretty sure those are all crab traps, if I'm not mistaken. Feel free to correct me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the lighthouse, see how the weather is, and if that, at least I'll just go see it even. If it's not open, it's fine. And then if that goes well, I might do the whole loop. Um, we'll see what the, it's just stopped raining quite so hard for the moment, so. Can you imagine living here and waking up to look at this every day? Can you? Oh my goodness. I don't know, also in Manila. Look at this, this is a monument to those lost at sea. Somebody as soon as, early as, late, whatever, as two years ago. Wow. All right, well, on that somber note, we will head up the rainy hill. Okay, I'm one minute in, sorry, right there. Look how beautiful. That's a little view of the town, love. It's just darling, I love it. Honestly, I could totally see myself living in a, maybe not a seaside town, I don't know. But, you know, one day down the road, in a little town like that, I always thought I'd want to live like remotely by myself in the mountain. And I'm not ruling that out. <laughs> not in a mountain, but on a mountain. But there's something nice about having a little community around you. I feel like I'm a small town kind of gal though. So this has got a nice pitch to it. It's paved, this part of the path is paved to the lighthouse because I'm guessing whoever works here dries and to like upkeep it, right? But I'm getting my heart right up, so that's good. All right, I'm just gonna grab all the video clips while it's not too rainy because in case I can't get them on the way back. There's Trinidad. Um, one of those is the rock we look at from the cottage, which I'm guessing, deducing, is called Pilot Rock, because that's the name of the cabin. Cottage? Oh, it's so pretty. And this is what the road looks like. It's an actual road. The rest of the trail on this, I believe, is like trail. Um, but yeah, it's got real interesting hedges. <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing. Well, the gate is open, so we'll see if that means anything. But this is the time that if it's gonna be open, it would be. Do you hear those bells? That's from the ocean too. Um, I think it's to warn, you know, sailors of the rocks. My, I have no knowledge of maritime um, practices, but look how thick this is. It's a thicket. All right, we're almost there. We are in the lighthouse. It's from 1871. Cool. Apparently a massive wave came and hit it in 1913. Staff used to live up here full time to tend to it. Now it's just an LED light, but wow. Yeah, look at this. How neat. So on top of this, there's like a big LED now. Um, <laughs> I guess let me just change it. The bulb. Oh, there it is, right there. You can see it. Neato. I thought it was on top of the side. So cool. Awesome. She's in a lighthouse. Went on the coast. Visit the lighthouse. And always the staff, the volunteers. I've been to a handful of lighthouses now on the west coast, and they're just so knowledgeable and nice and lovely. There's the outside. 
apparently there used to be a house up the way, but it's no longer there. So cool. My lighthouse, you can't see it though. How interesting. Oh yeah, you can. No, you can't. Anyway, that was fun. I'm glad I came up. I would say you don't like need to manage your whole trip around making sure you're here for it, but if you happen to be here on the first Saturday of the month, it's worth coming up. And I imagine on a clear day, you can see for miles. Um, it's the rain's picking up a little bit, but I'm already up here. I'm already got everything on, so I think I might as well just do the whole loop. And before heading back, it's not that far. I think it's only like another mile and a half. So I'm already up here, might as well. But yeah, I'm gonna tuck my phone in because it's pretty rainy. But I'll pull it up to show you little bits and bobs around the way. It's just a casual view. All right, just know that if you choose to come all the way to the top, the only thing that's here is this. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, you can kind of see it a little bit down that way. It's just an offshoot from the trail anyway. I'm gonna make my way down and around the other way. So I did read, I just put my hand out there to focus that there are um, wild berries on here. And I've just been noticing a lot of wild berry scat. So there's definitely some wild animals too. I'm not sure which ones, but I think it's pretty much past berry season. But apparently if you come here in the height of summer, it's just chock a block full of them. I was coming down the path and saw this big cross here. I wonder what this is for. Shall we look? Is there a plaque? June 9th, oh. I'm guessing it's the day of landing. Yes. Replaced by the women's club in 1913. Well, this has been here a while. Um, which way to go for the trail? Good to have your trail map on. Rain's coming down a bit harder now. So I'm just trying to shield the lens, but um, you guys, it's like an actual trail now. I love it. Look at this tree. So cool. Yeah, it definitely would probably be nicer on a clearer day, but I'm enjoying myself. Here's a scenic outshoot from the trail. Oh, this is the other side. It's so beautiful. I've heard counts that you can see whales migrating here. I don't know if this is the time of year for it. You really can't see much of anything right now, but it is still, oh, it's so beautiful. How beautiful is that? Coastline, my goodness. I also heard that there's sea lions on these rocks but I don't have a good enough zoom. Well, I don't, I don't know. I see birds. What do you guys see? Anything? I think those are birds. What about over here? Yeah, I'm not sure. The benches and stuff throughout and the vistas and stuff, which is really nice, but I just stumbled upon this one and my immediate thought was dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of somebody getting married at this fall. Right? It's giving like small wedding ceremony vibes. What a backdrop. Look at this part of the trail. I'm <laughs> just short enough. <sighs> Fun. I love all the little out, well there's not that many, but the several outshoots come to the scenic points. Now I can see better the, like the landscape of this. Really neat. Look at that ocean. Beautiful. Oh, I love, love, love this. This reminds me a lot of the coastline up in the Pacific Northwest that I visited. When was that last year? Two years ago? Yeah, tiny me. It's so cool. I love walking through stuff like that. Look at this. Once again, the lands that we're sailing on because they're pretty much all are um, in this country. Anyway, some really interesting information about that. And yes, our seals, harbor seals. And lots of these kinds of birds and things. I think I saw some of those birds on that rock way out there. The beach, I might head down to the beach just because I'm here. I'm going to be all wet. <laughs> That's wet, you know? I mean, I'm dry on the inside. <laughs> but I think we're almost at the bottom. We've come to the end. I think these are crab traps. I don't really know, but I think they are. If anybody knows otherwise, let me know. I think I can head to the beach just to this pot now. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I think we have to um, go walk on that, right? Seriously. 
Ooh, I'm not looking forward to putting on that one as I can get access. And just like that, we're on the beach. Just like that. That's where we just were. Turn that head. You imagine living right there. It won't let me zoom. There we go. And look, that's why they have that many windows. Because they get to look out of this from their house. Oh, fucking so neat. I'm not mad about it. You know, it could be a nicer day, but actually, this feels just right. So I'm not mad about it. Aww. because it's raining again, but just imagine me walking down this whole thing. That's what I'm about to do. Oh, I'm very happy that I'm here right now. So I got the memory. I don't even know if you can hear me though, it's just so loud. I'm sorry, I came so ill equipped for me quick. But uh, I have a memory just like this. From over four years ago, standing on a beach that looked just like this and weather just like this. But up in Oregon, on the central Oregon coast. I took a little video that day just for me, and I ended up accidentally in the sand. Um, but it was right then and there that I decided to leave my marriage for real after years of thinking about it. So, this feels very reminiscent in that. It was a really tough moment, but it was beautiful and important. Hanging on at the top of that rock. It can keep going. I have no idea. We're just gonna explore as far as we can. Um, I don't know if tide is coming in or out either, which I probably should know. I don't want to go too far. I think this is probably where I'm gonna end up turning around. But glad that I didn't make it this far. There's a whole other part of the beach over here, but I feel like the tide is coming in, and I don't want to get stuck. So I'm gonna turn around. But this was really fun. I'm glad I came down here. You know we love a clock. You know, I was wondering, I looked at that spot on the Trinidad head and I was like, what if it's a bear spot? Is it bears like that? I think it was. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty familiar with what it looks like. So, anyway, here's a little information about that. If you want to know, now you know. 1650. That's a long, long time ago. So, I thought I'd just had the town, is, there's not much. But there's a couple little shops and I just like I'm already wet and out, so I'm gonna head over there, see if there's any stickers <laughs> I wanna buy. Let's have a little Moo <laughs> name that content creator. And then head back and decide what I'm doing from there. So there's not many shops, but there's a few little ones. I'm just gonna pop my head in. Um I like to little support local businesses too. This one here. Training company. I think there's another one, little one down the way. That's about it for the town. The school is really cute to walk past the school. Maybe I'll go to for this one first. Here's a better look. I'm going to go in these couple little shops and then head back to the house. Just on my way back and I was having a holiday boutique in the town hall. How sweet. I'm going to go and take a look and then we'll head back. I didn't want to film up close and personal, but this is a really sweet small town. I call it a bazaar with the singing Santa. I just you can't, you can't beat it. Oh, I just, I came back just at the right moment because look, the rain picked up quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. It's coming down. Um, I went into all the little shops <clears throat> and that little holiday bazaar. It just was sweet to see everything. I bought one thing at one of the little shops. I didn't buy any stickers, but I've been looking for like a charm for my, I have a charm for, <laughs> it's not going to look over on it. No, it's not. <laughs> I should put it down. I have a charm for my car at home hanging on my rear view mirror and I've been kind of looking for one, not like actively, but just seeing if there's anywhere I like anywhere I go for this car. My one at home is a uh, crystal snowflake and this, I got this little crescent moon to put on my, I'll show you at some point, I'll you know, hang it on my rear view mirror. I keep saying that as if it's like a bad thing. I think I'm just like thinking of what to share with you. Oh my gosh, it's really raining now. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have the rest of my coffee. Um, 
the thing is like I'm very happy to have a chill day uh it's really dark so I'll stand closer to the window the lighting isn't so atrocious it's just about 12 30 now and that breakfast is going to tide me over for a while and honestly I've driven through the redwoods twice now <laughs> so and yeah I haven't like gone to see like the three trees that are like the trees everybody goes to see but I spent five hours surrounded by redwoods <laughs> yesterday and honestly I feel pretty satisfied I mean you don't have to do the things just for the sake of doing the things that all the people say you should do if you feel, feel satisfied in your soul then that's what matters from your trip right it's not to check off some box it's to to it's is to fill your soul, right? Fill up your love cup. I don't know. I was just thinking about that today, how... I mean, I could go and drive... To, I don't have any interest in driving through a tree. That makes me feel really weird. I understand it's like a very popular thing to do, and I don't have any problem with other people do it. I just don't really want to drive through a tree. If you're like, what are you talking about? It's like a very popular thing to do in the Redwood Forest, and I think there's one in the Sequoia Forest, too. I don't know, I might end up driving through a tree someday. I just, it makes me feel a little sad for some reason. I can't quite put my finger on. But anyway, um, I'm just going to take one last look at all of the guides and things and make sure I'm not missing something that might, would fill my soul. Otherwise, I'm going to build a fire and put my laundry in the washing machine and keep reading my book and have a wonderful time enjoying this sweet spot sitting right on that couch, looking right out at the ocean. Because that, that sounds pretty amazing, too. Uh, just as amazing as exploring did yesterday. As someone who frequents Airbnbs on a somewhat regular basis, I really appreciate when owners, hosts, what do they call them? Hosts go out of their way to make a comprehensive guide like this that not only includes, you know, like, things that they request for you when taking care of their property, but, um, like, helpful tips, like things to do, how long it takes to get places, where to eat. I just find that really helpful. Like, I Google things too, but I like having local recommendations and how can you get more of a local re recommendation than the person that owns the place. So the one thing I don't think I've done that would be something I would do if it wasn't raining so hard would be to go down this scenic drive south. I haven't been south, I've only been north. Um, and go to these other beaches. Oh, Moonstone Beach, Camel Rock, all of those places. But I did walk on the beach just north of here, and I don't know, I feel like, and I looked at this, the coastline south when I was on the, the Trinidad Head Trail. I don't know, you guys, I'm feeling kind of satisfied. So like I said, you don't have to do the things if it's just for the sake of doing them. I'm saying you, and I'm really talking to me, too, because... I need reminding, too, that it's okay to slow down. You don't have to, like, go at breakneck speed to just, like, see it all and do it all. If this is... I spent the whole morning outside, essentially, in the rain <laughs> and exploring the things that I really wanted to explore, but then walking distance. It was, like, round trip about four and a half miles, all the walking I did. So, just enough that I got to see air, got all of that, but also, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it's better if I don't spend any more time in the rain outside today. So I'm going to do all those things I said that I was going to do. I'm going to go out to my car, <clears throat> get a change of clothes, and put everything in the wash. Which is nice. I've needed a new wash for a couple of trips now. So it's nice to have the washer dryer available. I'm going to build a nice old fire there. And I'm going to read some more of my book. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm paying for this spot too. You know, you can enjoy the places that you pay to stay in as well. It's allowed. Again, talking to myself. Okay, here we go. It's really so satisfying when the fire first catches. It's getting there. It's getting there. Ooh, I just, uh, I love a wood burning fire. I really want to put something like this in my bedroom in my house. It'd have to be way smaller. I'm thinking about it since I moved in though. It'd be so nice to have. Well, my friends, I am very grateful that I made the decision to have my little adventure this morning when the rain was much lighter and that I decided to stay in the rest of the day because it's gotten significantly stormier. You can't even see 
Even if I focus on it, you can't even see the ocean anymore. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, so I just spent the last little while doing laundry and reading. I'm reading this book right now. I'm, I'm doing the Pantsuit Politics Book Club. Uh, so I'm, that's a really interesting book. And I just had this memory that I have, um, no, I don't want to, no. I don't need a hotspot. Um, I think I mentioned there's no internet at this house and I knew that coming in. And I have like enough to look at Instagram and stuff, enough like cellular, but probably not enough to like stream a whole movie. I remembered I have Love Actually downloaded on my computer from last winter when I stayed at an Airbnb in Woodstock, New York actually, but no internet. So I'm gonna watch that. I've made myself a little girl dinner smorgasbord here. You know, I got some kombucha, apples, some Kerrygold Reserve there. This hummus is really yummy. Um, I've only ever found it on the West Coast. I don't know if they, could, they just don't sell it in the other parts. I've got some carrots and some crackers. So I'm gonna have my little snack smorgasbord. The fire's going, the dryer's going. It's starting to really warm up and get cozy in here. And I'm just happy as a clam. So that's the rest of my afternoon right there. And do you see, can you hear the rain? I'll stop talking for a second. It's pouring. This is perfect. So cozy and wonderful. I am a happy girl. Well, my friends, that was a good movie. I've, I don't know where I've said it. Probably to my Patreon community <laughs> in a vlog or something. I don't, I don't, I'm not a rom-com girl, but at the holidays, there are two rom-coms that I watch every year, and one is the one I just watched, which is Love Action, and the other is The Holiday, which I watched recently, too. Uh, and they're sappy, and I wouldn't probably like them any other time of year, but for whatever reason, I like them this time of year. Uh, so that was really enjoyable. That was a really good snack, smorgasbord as well. And now, I don't know if you can hear, I'm running a bath in the background there. And just going to wrap up the vlog here because the rest of my evening is just going to be relaxing more and the lighting is getting worse. <laughs> so, uh, apologize for the video and audio quality. I did not plug in my brain when I was packing for this trip. I will do better for next time. Uh, but I look forward to sharing the next adventure with you. And I hope you are all well. Thank you for hanging out with me. It was a joy to share with you. This was just the best trip. I loved having the outdoorsy bits and then the exploratory bits this morning. And then the cozy, just like hang out and enjoy the Airbnb part too. That was really nice. Uh, Trinidad was beautiful. And if you're ever this way, it's totally worth a, a looky-loo. I hope you are well. Wishing you Happy trails wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Take very good care, my friends. Bye.